the last year of my single years, the last year of my single years, stories from my life. Last years of my singleness, the last years of my being single. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I just share with you my perspective on different topics, as is with this one. Well, I got to thinking about my last years of being single before I got married. Now, I've been married around 30 years. And so prior to that, I had lived in Los Angeles area, lived in the beach. I've told so many amazing stories, and I've talked a lot about the, the relationships that I had prior to my wonderful marriage. And so I talked a lot about that. And my single years, but the last year of my singleness, the, the, the last year, was kind of an interesting year. I dated quite a bit. I had one more significant relationship um, towards the end. It did not work out, but he led in an indirect way to where I ended up getting a job that I call the miracle job because of the way it unfolded. And it was a knowing, one of my, I did a video called The Knowing, and I ended up meeting my husband on that job. So had it not been for all of these events, piece by piece, um, it's like, like chess playing. You know, all these pieces had to be in alignment for me to ultimately meet my husband. It had to be in alignment on his end and had to be in alignment on my end. And divine synchronicity, okay? So anyhow, my last year of being single was, um, I was working at at the club, as I told you in another video, it was a wonderful club. It wasn't a, a strip club or anything like that. It was a club, but remember, I had been a professional for many years, and I just decided to take a reprieve or a little bit of time off and just go do something fun on a job. And I did. And I had this amazing job that was so much fun. I called it the candy store. <laughs> because there were so many cute guys and I was just having a wonderful time in that year but I was ready for a solid long-term commitment and relationship and up to that point I had gone through numerous relationships and all you know most of them wonderful and good and I talked about those in other relationships but I was now ready for that that you know, that soulmate, so to speak, that life partner, that one where you build your dreams and your lives together. And so I, um, so that was, you know, right before I met my husband. So I did date a lot during that time. I did have one relationship, like I said, that led that he and I broke up and because I kind of wanted to be closer to him, the memory of him, I should say, because it was kind of, you know, uh, one of those breakups where, you know, when you break up, you, you know, you miss the person. And so I didn't want to like be around him, but I kind of wanted to go where, you know, in the area, if that makes sense. So anyhow, how that, I ended up getting that job. I was going to tell that in a different video. And I think I talked about it before. I had this knowing, well, this place was, um, you couldn't just go there and get on and get a job, you know, and you had to go through a process and I didn't know how to do that process. So I would drive around every day, like before I went to work and I would just kind of drive around. I felt led to just drive around, drive around near there, not looking for him, but just to drive around um, and drive around. And I just felt led there. So I went to a nearby place and put an application in and they actually called me, but something told me no, no, no. And so one day I was driving and I went to call my mom and this is back before cell phones. This is back with pay phones because this is a long time ago and I was very young. So I would call my mom. She was living in Palm Springs and I went in to get some change for the pay phone and I said to the lady, you know, I really, really want to work over there. And she said, well, actually, this is part of there, even though it's a different part. I'll call over there for you. And I said, oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to do that. I felt like I was in positioning her. She said, oh, no, 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 no. This is how she played a part in this miracle. She called over there and within a few minutes, I'm going to the personnel office. They let me on. I got into the personnel office, put an application in. Um, 
I went for one job and ended up in another and it was amazing. It was absolutely an amazing um, experience. And so I kind of talked about that in other videos, but what I'm saying is that year prior to, and that was really a miracle how that happened and I ended up meeting my husband that way. And uh, so it all led together. I believe that things come together, um, bits and pieces, um, sometimes um, are supposed to come together the way that they come together. And, but anyhow, I had, you know, dated a lot, but I was ready, I was ready. And I think when you're ready, it comes to you. And I think for me, um, um, sometimes if you're not ready and you go into a long-term committed relationship, you can make a mess of things. And when you are ready, you really do the work and you do everything that's necessary to create and make a great relationship. And so I was ready. I was ready for a great relationship. I gave my 100%, my 1000%. And um, I was so ready and so happy when I met my husband. And I let go of my single years at that point and became a married person. And so so that's been around 30 years ago, okay? Well, I thought I'd just come on here and talk about that and just sharing another little story, another little piece from my life. Well, from my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. Links are pinned at the top of the comment section below. If the links aren't working, just copy and paste, please. Hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye. to relax.